Good morning, happy Monday hour time. We just got back from Target. We've got a sicky little household here, mainly Harper and myself, but especially Harper. So we picked up some- I'll play Let Go. Yeah, I'll play Let It Go in just a moment, okay? We picked up some of these lollies. They are organic, organic, USDA organic, um, but they have like honey and other natural flavors to help soothe a sore throat and cough and whatnot. So she really likes those. She likes eating those when she's not even sick. We got some creamers, some other medicine, all the goods, more medicine. We're gonna head inside, get the day going. It's 10 a.m. and we've just, well, actually I got a workout in this morning. I got up at five. Worked out, just looking at an email, worked out at 5.30 a.m., finished up around 6.30. So I've been up, I've been productive, but I gotta do some more productive things with like work and whatnot. So welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are enjoying the weekly vlogs. That's what this video is going to be as well. I'm just like putting my glasses on and off, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video before this, the whole weekly vlog style. I enjoy watching those kind of videos. So this is going to be my vlog before I head to Kansas. I'm heading to Kansas this weekend and it's Monday. So excited for that. I'm about to put this girl down for a nap. You wanna pick out a book, Boo? Yes. And I'm gonna let her pick out a book to read beforehand. We took a bath with some vapor drops. We've had some of those soothing lollies. So, trying to get this girl to feel in a little bit better. Nights have been miserable. She's been waking up so miserable. That says, under the same moon. Is it on Disney? No, it's not a Disney book. I think, um, goodness, I think you're Mimi. Yeah, you're Mimi. And Papa got this for you since they live in a different state. That's your zoo book. You wanna read that one? We got that from the zoo. Yep. Yeah. Read about all the interesting creatures. Yes. Okay, get comfy. Make room for me. Do you remember what this is called? Yes. Uh, angel shark. That's right. The angel shark has a head as flat as a pancake so it can hide on the ocean floor. I'm so excited. <sighs> We've got a special delivery today, and it's the computer, the iMac to be specific. I'm still learning the Apple lingo. It's Tuesday, by the way, next day. I didn't really film much yesterday. Probably not gonna film much today, but I figured I would get the iMac set up and then show you guys how it looks. I am so stinking excited. So is Ryan, so it's kind of fun to like, be mutually excited together. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up and then I'll show you guys how it looks. Oh, oh, slid right out. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. pretty. Look at this one. Yeah. Ow, <laughs> just those. Here's the back. What color are those, Boo? This is black. Blue, like the chargers. I don't know if you guys can see, but you got like the dark navy blue and then more of like the, the powder blue, kind of like chargers. Luna <laughs> keeps smushing her face in the bed. Like she thinks it's funny or fun or something. Luna. Honestly, it was just how thin the structure, the body of the laptop was. I didn't want something big and bulky, if that makes sense. I'm packing it a little bit more. Looks like the keyboard and mouse is somewhere over here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Even the cord is blue. We got the computer and all that original equipment out of the room. I can't film the process for you guys though because one, I'm constantly redirecting Harper. And then two, this child keeps smushing her face 
and to the bed. She does this to her padded mat when she's doing tummy time. Just like, and then she'll get up for air. And I'm just like constantly having to flip her over, like stop playing around. So no cute montage. We're just gonna skip right to the computer being set up after I move Luna. Hey, I need you to play like this. Like this, like this. Keep your head like that. Watch out for What did I say? What did I say? Miss Boogie, you have a bucket in your nose. Is that what you're trying to do? You're just trying to wrap it out? Stop doing that! Okay, so I have the desk in standing mode. That way I could know like how much of the cords I could actually have in that box to where it wouldn't get like tugged when the desk raises or rises you get the gist but should we go ahead and turn it on the power button's right here oh you hear that boo i can link the imac the desk lamp the desk itself if you'd like it'll be in the description box if anyone's interested just kind of doing its thing this is going to be like the final view of it so i lowered the desk back down. I like that I don't need very many cords because obviously before Ryan had the PC and the monitor and there were so many cord situations going on. So I like that and it's pretty much as set up as you can get. Uh, I'll just start exporting my videos and my content all to the iMac versus like I was you know, exporting everything to my phone and editing. I'm so excited. This is just gonna be such a nice workspace to have. I work from home every single day, so I thought it was about time to up my work from home environment. What day is it? Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday. I'm currently putting away some laundry and that's my underwear. Oh my gosh. No. Uh, but I'm currently putting away laundry and I just feel like a maniac. I am texting all the family and friends back in the, what the heck, <laughs> in the Midwest trying to coordinate visits. So we're, you know, taking into consideration other people's schedules as well as ours. And this is a lot more work than I thought it was. Um, nothing I can't handle. I kind of do this for a job, but it's just like, wow. When I have scheduling a whole week and a half with family and friends in a completely different state on top of managing my full-time job right now in my my matcha business and then just mom life and gymnastics and all this stuff. This week's been chaotic. Like my place has just not truly been clean. I like a clean environment because that helps me function. Like that keeps my mental health in check. And right now I'm a little on the fence, not gonna lie, but I'm just, like I said, doing laundry, trying to plan out my Kansas visit. I have two meetings today, virtually, so the girls are gonna be babysat during that time frame, and I'm very thankful for that. Hi, are you on your belly? Hi. Oh, it's changing baby. We just have toys scattered everywhere right now. Hello, little Lou. Bum, bum, bum. Get you a fresh typing. All right. All right, Sissy's ready. It's time to go. Hello, cutie Lou. Mwah, mwah, mwah. 
You're all ready. I'm going to give myself like a quick five minutes to do a quick pickup in Harper's room. You guys, it's a disaster and I feel like it's been a disaster the past few days because it's like I can't catch up. The girls are home with me. I'm trying to work. I can't, I can't keep up, but that's okay. Um, that means, you know, Harper is being entertained for the most part. And then when we go to bed at nighttime, it's nice to get everything picked back up. But since I have the time and the girls are at the grandparents, I'm going to do a quick pickup real quick. How many times can I say quick? This is what we're working with. It looks like a disaster, but honestly, I know where everything goes <laughs> and it shouldn't take that long. We've made a lot of progress, not fully clean because I still need to gather all of her other food toys that are out in the living room and whew, I'm out of breath, put this stuff away, but I have a meeting in nine minutes. It's at 12, so I'm gonna go to my desk, make sure I'm not out of breath and get ready for my meeting. And then we'll reevaluate if I wanna pick everything else up after the meeting. We'll see, I still need to pack for our trip so to be determined first meeting is down i got hot and sweaty so we got another outfit change now i'm just wearing a white tee i do have a second meeting coming up and about two hours so i have a good bit of time without the girls you already know it's going to be spent cleaning maybe packing um probably working i need to tend to some emails but That'll be nice to just kind of get caught up with some things with not having without having to like stop continuously to tend to this child and this child and then again and again. So yeah, meeting's done and now to check emails and then we'll go from there. Mm. 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 Hello, happy Friday. It's going to be a good day. I'm like pretty much wrapped up with my work day. I have done four virtual meetings and I feel like we're at like a good stopping point to comfortably end the work day and start packing because I still need to freaking pack. And Luna is home napping currently and Harper is at Legoland. So that's honestly like amazing because she's just so chaotic and attached to my hip when she's home so i'm gonna have that space and time to finally get things going for our trip because we leave tomorrow morning and i have just been so stressed i feel like i haven't had time to like properly devote time to myself or to my husband to our household to keep it you know clean um I've been so like zoned in with work. I feel like my workload has been super heavy lately. And honestly, I don't see it decreasing anytime soon, but I don't know. I just really wanted to make sure I had all of the loose ends tied up before leaving for Kansas for like a week and a half. I feel like we're at a good place and now I can pack. I'm so excited. I'm gonna put on a podcast. I need to find my phone, it's over there, but I'm gonna put on a podcast and get to packing. I'm feeling so much better now that these meetings are out of the way. If you've watched a video before, you've seen this. This is what I used for my hospital bag. I'm gonna use it to bring onto the airplane because since it is a lighter color and really good quality, um, I don't wanna leave it for them to handle. I'll just keep it in my hands so it's taken care of. But I'm gonna put some clothes in here 
probably the girls' clothes, honestly. And then we'll have a suitcase as well, like a big old suitcase. I'm not too familiar with like flying. I really haven't been on that many flights. Ryan has been in a lot, so I always just like follow his lead. Anyway, I digress. Gonna pack a suitcase <laughs> and this thing and then probably bring the diaper bag as well. Okay, ready? I just finished feeding her, so now we can begin packing. He's so cute. Oh. Okay, let's start packing. I'm trying to look at each day and what that weather's gonna be like, what we were planning for that day. So like, for example, Wednesday when we're there, uh, we're gonna do like a downtown KC day. Um, I definitely wanna dress a little bit cuter that day, but we're also gonna be, you know, moving around a lot, active, it's gonna get hot. So I might wanna wear a t-shirt that day as opposed to a sweater, so I'm not like super sweaty, but I still wanna look really cute because it's gonna be like a cute outing day. Versus Tuesday, we're just going to be going to like a family friend's home, casually hanging out. That day would be good for leggings and maybe perhaps a sweater because we're just going to be indoors hanging out. Little things like that I'm trying to wrap my mind around. So let me just flip you guys this way. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure that out. Because I really thought I could just grab a bunch of sweaters, throw them in my bag, grab a couple different pairs of pants and call it good, but the weather says otherwise, so I don't know. We'll make it work. It's not that big of a deal. We'll make it work. I got this a little bit <laughs> too oversized. I don't know, let me scoot back here. Oh man, guys, I should have like got a smaller sweater size. Oh my gosh, this sweater just like eats me, but do you get like the vision that I was thinking? This just might have to be good for, um, what am I gonna say? For like leggings, like super oversized with leggings. I don't know, this probably looks like it's too big. I think we've found a winning outfit and I'm in Harper's room so I can give you guys like more of a full body look. So let's see, let me know what you guys think after the fact because I'm gonna pack whatever anyway and then it's, just still let me know what you think. This is, what I am thinking here. Okay. I don't know if you can see the full fit, but I think I like tennis shoes with these best. I did have some like black combat boots or whatever you want to call them, kind of like Doc Martens, but they're not Doc Martens. Um, but this is what I'm thinking. I feel like this is like the perfect oversized fit. And it's not, in my opinion, it's not too wild of an outfit choice to have brunch with your parents. Like, I don't think they're gonna be like, Lainey. Like, I don't think they'll be too critical of my outfit. I still wanna embrace my personality a little bit, okay? I like fun colors, I like fun prints. Let me know what you think. So I think I really like this outfit. This feels very me. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I think I really need to sit down and think about like my three words when it comes to like my fashion sense. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have heard about that. Basically, if you focus on those three words, it'll help you pick out outfits more efficiently. Let's just go with efficiently. You're gonna feel more like yourself and it's gonna be an easier process. I think that makes sense, but was I gonna say something else? I've hardly ate today. I have had water, coffee, and a breakfast sandwich, and it's like about 3 p.m. I should probably eat some more food. Okay, I feel like we're at a good stopping point. There's Miss Lou, but, well, at least for myself. I have finally decided all the outfits that I'm going to be wearing, so these are like all my dedicated outfits, and then I have some jammies right there. And then an extra nice sweater in case, you know, for the days that I'm dressed a little bit more casual, I need to dress up for whatever reason. I have a nice sweater and surely I can pair that with like the leggings or jeans that I'm bringing. What? Do you guys hear that? You are pooping. She literally just got a poop stain on my bed not too long ago. So now we're going to be leaving 
for Kansas and I have a yellow stain on my white blanket. So that's exciting. It's a little bit later in the evening. We just got back from Harper's Gymnastics class and then we stopped by Target to pick up some things. Hold on, Bill. So some snacks for the airport. We've got some of these made good bars. Pretty good. And then I also got some like travel size containers for shampoo, conditioner, all that fun stuff. And then some protein chips. I could have swear I got more. Oh, coconut chips. Yeah. Some coconut chips. I don't know why, but when I think of like going on flights, I always opt for my coconut chips. Anything where it's like traveling and I need snacks. I like these bars, the chips, the protein chips specifically, uh, maybe some like Annie's popcorn, that kind of stuff. Okay, Boo, do you want me to fix that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm tired. I still need to complete packing. What's her shirt? Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Here you go. <laughs> what do you say? Anyway, um, still need to finish packing. This lighting is just atrocious. We are out of daylight. Uh, but yeah, finish. need to finish packing. But after Ryan finishes up like a meeting for his MBA, um, we need to head to the grandparents and have dinner. <laughs> so it's gonna be a late night. And then it's gonna be an early morning, but that's okay. I need to like get on my work phone and like change my voicemail that's set up so I'm like letting people know that call me that I'm out of office. They can call such and such. I need to make an automated email as well. Same thing. And make sure I'm all caught up with emails in general. And then I we're ready. We're ready to just enjoy the Kansas trip. We are playing with Barbies now. Are we gonna play Barbie's Boo? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Can't forgive me the stroller. Stroller, okay, stroller. Well, she wanted Are me to play with her. Are these changing Barbies? What? Are these colors changing Barbies? No, these Barbies don't change colors. There's like lint on this one, but we're gonna play <laughs> um, when Ryan's done with his meeting. We'll wrap it up here, go eat dinner, come back, finish packing, finish work stuff. Hmm. It's gonna be a late night, but mm, it is fresh. what it is. Let's get some chips. What chips? We're gonna eat those on the plane tomorrow, the protein chips. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here because I'll start vlogging tomorrow when we're heading out on the flight. And that'll be a whole separate video for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment, subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.